Good morning, everybody. An educated economist here. So, came in a little early, thought I'd move the trucks out of the yard. Uh, yesterday, I put out a video talking about the Fed fund rates, and I had a lot of people asking or t commenting saying that the Fed fund rates are now exceeding the Treasury yields. And, you know, how is this possible? And so, if you're not quite familiar with what's going on there, so basically, a bank borrows money in an overnight basis. It, from other banks to balance out their balance sheet. So all these banks who are part of the Federal Reserve System, at the end of the day, if they have excess reserves on their balance sheets, they loan those reserves over to banks that have undervalued, uh, uh, you know, are under reserve, and they use an interest rate called the Fed fund rate. Okay, and that Fed fund rate is a target rate. Okay, it's not the effective fund rate, which is the rate that they actually use. The Fed fund rate is a target rate, so they try and hit somewhere between two and a quarter and two and a half percent on that Fed fund rate. Now, believe it or not, banks borrow money in a short term and then loaning out a long term, and they take the profit in between, and that's how banks work, right? So if they cannot borrow, or if they borrow money at a low interest rate for a short term, and then take that borrowed money and loan it to you for a longer rate at a at a higher interest, they can profit from the from the spread in between, from the higher interest rate to the lower interest rate. And that's how most banks operate. Now, what ends up happening is, is that if the Fed fund rate is set at a particular spot and the interest rate on the yields drop below that Fed fund rate, a bank can no longer borrow or, yeah, they can no longer borrow money from the Fed and then buy a bond that pays a profit. Okay, if they cannot do that, then they cannot guarantee their loans because those are the most secure loans out there, and everything they loan out from that point would be extremely risky. Okay, so as these risky loans take place, they demand more and more interest rates for them, and everybody basically locks up their credit. Right? They don't want to. They don't want to loan money out to anybody because they can't secure, you know, a a good viable loan, seeing as how the treasury yields are below what the Fed fund is lo Fed is willing to loan them money for. Does that make sense? So the, when the Fed fund rate is actually higher than the treasury yields, it causes the banks to get scared that they won't be able to loan money for profit. Okay, That's essentially what is happening when, when the Fed fund rate exceeds the treasury yields. Okay, Because banks need to borrow the Fed, buy the yields, and then, and then be able to loan the money out to you you know, or be able to then take riskier, riskier, you know, loans out, you know, as far as that goes. And, uh, and that's, and that's what we're seeing now. But what is actually happening is that the effective fund rate is at 2.4 and the one month bond, I believe is at 2.4. So the effective fund rate has not exceeded the treasury yields. Okay. The, the fed fund rate, the target rate is 2.5%, but that's not the effective rate, what the banks are actually doing. So they haven't exceeded yet They're, They can still, they can still essentially borrow money from the fed on an overnight basis and then buy some short term bonds that do pay a profit, although it is barely anything. All right. Hope that helped. Talk to you guys later.